in the name of Allah, the Beneficent, the Merciful. He will not be questioned as to that which he doth, but they will be questioned. Or have they chosen other gods beside him? Say, bring your proof of their Godhead. This is the reminder of those with me and those before me, but most of them know not the truth, and so they are averse. And we sent no messenger before thee, but we inspired him, saying, There's no God save me, Allah, so worship me. And they say, The Beneficent hath taken unto himself a son, be he glorified. Nay, but those whom they call sons are honored slaves. They speak not until he hath spoken, and they act by his command. He knoweth what is before them and what is behind them, and they cannot intercede except for him whom he accepteth, and they quake for awe of him. And one of them who should say, Lo, I am a god beside him, that one we should repay with hell, thus we repay wrongdoers. Have not those who disbelieve known that the heavens and the earth were of one piece? Then we parted them, and we made every living thing of water. Will they not then believe? And we have placed in the earth firm hills, lest it quake with them. And we have placed therein ravines as roads, that haply they may find their way. And we have made the sky a roof withheld from them, yet they turn away from its portents. And he it is who created the night and the day, and the sun and the moon, they float each in an orbit. We appointed immortality for no mortal before thee. What, if thou diest, can they be immortal? Every soul must taste of death, and we try you with evil and with good for ordeal, and unto us ye will be returned. And when those who disbelieve behold thee, they but choose thee out for mockery, saying, Is this he who maketh mention of your gods? And they would deny all mention of the Beneficent. Man is made of haste, I shall show you my portents, but ask me not to hasten. And they say, When will this promise be fulfilled, if ye are truthful? If those who disbelieved but knew the time when they will not be able to drive off the fire from their faces and from their backs, and they will not be helped. Nay, but it will come upon them unawares, so that it will stupefy them, and they will be unable to repel it, neither will they be reprieved. Messengers before thee indeed were mocked, but that whereat they mocked surrounded those who scoffed at them. Say, Who guardeth you in the night or in the day from the Beneficent? Nay, but they turn away from mention of their Lord. Or have they gods who can shield them from us? They cannot help themselves, nor can they be defended from us. Nay, but we gave these and their fathers ease until life grew long for them. See they not how we visit the land, reducing it of its outlying parts? Can they then be the victors? Say, O Muhammad, unto mankind, I warn you only by the inspiration, but the deaf hear not the call when they are warned. And if a breath of thy Lord's punishment were to touch them, they assuredly would say, Alas for us, lo, we were wrongdoers. And we set a just balance for the day of resurrection, so that no soul is wronged in aught, though it be of the weight of a grain of mustard seed. We bring it, and we suffice for reckoners. And we verily gave Moses and Aaron the criterion of right and wrong and a light and a reminder for those who keep from evil. Those who fear their Lord in secret and who dread the hour of doom. This is a blessed reminder that we have revealed. Will ye then reject it? And we verily gave Abraham of old his proper cause and we were aware of him. When he said unto his father and his folk, what are these images unto which ye paid devotion? They said, We found our fathers worshippers of them. He said, Verily ye and your fathers were in plain error. They said, Bringest thou unto us the truth, or art thou some jester? He said, Nay, but your Lord is the Lord of the heavens and the earth, who created them, and I am of those who testify unto that. And by Allah, I shall circumvent your idols after ye have gone away and turned your backs.
Then he reduced them to fragments, all save the chief of them, that haply they might have recourse to it. They said, Who hath done this to our gods? Surely it must be some evil doer. They said, We heard a youth make mention of them who is called Abraham. They said, Then bring him hither before the people's eyes that they may testify. They said, Is it thou who hast done this to our gods, O Abraham? He said, But this their chief hath done it, so question them if they can speak. Then gathered they apart and said, Lo, ye yourselves are the wrongdoers. And they were utterly confounded, and they said, Well, thou knowest that these speak not. He said, Worship ye then instead of Allah that which cannot profit you at all, nor harm you? Fie on you and all that ye worship instead of Allah. Have ye then no sense? They cried, Burn him and stand by your gods if ye will be doing. We said, O fire, be coolness and peace for Abraham.